Hey guys, I'm going to post a quick video of this custom layer I use in the studio um, on MixStation Pro. In the studio, um, I'm using a MacBook Pro with Cubase Pro 9.5 and a X32 core with a DL32, a Midas DL32 stage box. Um, so the way I've done this custom layer, uh, it's got some some pretty interesting features that I like and makes my, my job a lot easier in the studio. Uh, first of all, um, this is set up right now for basically a session where we're doing just a vocal, um, you know, vocal, maybe a DI plugged into channel two, but it's just a, just a vocal. So, you know, obviously, you know, there you go with a 16 channel setup if I need it, but this is set up for, um, for the vocal, uh, basically the vocal thing. The first thing that helps me out a lot, and I use this live too, uh, especially when I'm mixing front of houses over here, I've put... Um, two sliders which I can access with my thumb as you see here um, and what that's doing is this slider is ga channel gain whatever channel I have selected and this is the roll off so the roll off frequency and this is roll off on and off um, that helps me when I'm, you know when I'm mixing uh, because I find that adjusting the gain on the top of the channel oops adjusting the gain on the top of the channel here is a little bit difficult um, and sometimes you slip and you'll, or you'll do ex exactly what I did a second ago. You'll, you'll go into another screen. So I like to be able to access the gain over here on this long throw uh, slider. So that's part of the custom layer that, that I use a lot. Um, another thing is, here's the, uh, you know, you have all your bus sends right here. This thing keeps going out of focus. You have all your bus sends right here, of course. This uh, 15 and 16, right now, I've got the speakers plugged into 15 and 16, um, you know, the studio speakers. So, um, over here, you've got, uh, when, when you choose a, a, a different uh, bus send, the, the master fader over here changes to reflect the master of whatever bus send you're using. Um, and, of course, uh, this, this is a mute you know, I've got the speakers, the mute group here, just muting the, the 15 and 16 output. So that's my control room mute. Talk back, this, as you can see on all the buses here, on some of the buses, if I press the talk back, hello, toot, toot, that mic is over here. That's just a 58 plugged into the back talk back jack of the, the it's in the back over there on the, the X32 core. Uh, that can be accessed either by pressing the talk back button or as you see, if I press the talk back button on the unit itself, this will light up. Uh, conversely, if I press the talk back button here, it's going to light up on the X32 as well. So that's good. It's, you know, my hands are right here on the laptop. It's very easy for me to just slide over and hit the talk back. Uh, very easy. Also, sometimes I'll put another tablet over here with, uh, with a, a custom layer of just the talk back button for a producer that may be sitting working with me so that he can touch the talk back. Um, simple other things like mute all inputs when I'm changing mics or changing DI, whatever. Um, of course, here's all your different channel configurations. This is the one I told you about I just use for vocals and maybe a DI. So I've got these two channels, you know, uh, visible for me. Um, obviously, channel 1 to 16, 17, 32. I also have an all outputs so that I can check all the bus outputs uh, when I'm doing a session with you know a, a full band, I like to be able to have access to all their outputs all at once to check. Re reverb send, you know, since this is all the bus sends, that continues down here, this being the reverb bus send. And then the button right next to it is an edit button, so this will edit the parameters of, of this will edit the parameters of that reverb, of course. This will edit the parameters of that reverb. Usually I just have two reverbs loaded for a session just, just for monitoring. So that's about it. I'm going to include a, um, a layer, I mean, um, uh, a uh, file, in a link to a file. So if you want to use this uh, setup, you can, you can download it. Okay? Any questions, message me. Thanks.